y'all, it's Hope at Crafty Hope, and welcome to day 16 of ICAD. ICAD stands for Index Card a Day, and it is a challenge in which you take an index card of any size, and there's some mixed media stuff at it. The originator, Tammy Garcia, has some weekly themes and daily prompts that are all optional, and then Nina Fickett also has a set of mixed media ICAD prompts that she shares that you're welcome to, also optional. So I sometimes use them, sometimes don't. I was kind of excited going into today's. I knew I wouldn't use Daisy Yellow's prompt of jukebox today. I, yeah, just could not come up with anything that would work for that. But Nina's mixed media iCAD prompt today is green gold. And I, for a while, have been wanting to get some green gold paint. I've seen other people use it so beautifully and was like, ooh, one day I'm going to buy some. But it only really comes in like the high brand, either Liquitex or Golden. But I found some when I went to Ohio to visit my cousin. We went to a couple of creative reuse stores, which are craft thrift stores, um, to put it mildly. And I found a little tube of Liquitex green gold heavy body paint. So I grabbed that stuff up and I haven't touched it. It's only been like a month. But I was like, today I'm going to use it. So the first thing I do on my index card is I'm putting some scraps down, y'all. It is my goal to work through as many scraps in my two scrap boxes as possible for ICAD. And so today I picked a bunch of tinier scraps, smaller little things that could add a bunch of texture on here. And so, yeah, I'm just putting that all over my card, all this beautiful texture. And I had a good time doing it. Used almost a full 10 minutes just putting down <laughs> uh, these little bits of scraps and thought, oh, I, I want to accent this texture with maybe like a wash of something. And y'all that it goes just downhill from there. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I am not completely happy with this card. I see some merit in it, and that's why I'm sharing it, but it is definitely not one of my favorite cards. I'd love to know what you think, and at the end, how you would have fixed this, because I'm going to spend a lot of time trying to fix this mm -hmm. card. So my mistake comes here in just a second when I grab, because I knew I was going to use that green gold, I grabbed something that I thought would go with it, and it is just some Anita's Acrylic Craft Paint in like a taupe gray. It's just this really light khaki brown color. There it is. Um, so I'm gonna put it in a little palette, water it down, get a paintbrush, water it some more, and then try to do like a wash over this. Um, and y'all, I just muddy the whole card up. There's all kinds of texture and little bits of neat things on there that I, yeah, just went right over. So while it was still wet, I said, let's go ahead and throw the green gold on there. I'll do a little splatter. So I put some of that green gold in the palette, watered it down, grabbed another paintbrush, and tried to splatter in this. And yeah, there's splatter and it's green gold. But the green gold almost immediately just looks like, y'all, it looks like baby poo to me. And I hate that because, like I said, I have admired this color for a while now on other people's, in other people's art. And I just, yeah, I've got to find a way to love it because I know I'm going to love it. Y'all, I got really mad there. The splatter got on my, um, on the sleeve of my shirt. So it's okay. That's it's artist life. You're going to live with paint on some of your clothes, right? Anyway. There was my first thumbs down, I think, of this <laughs> video. There's going to be at least one more. So I enjoyed the working with the art crayons yesterday. And I thought, okay, well, I'll try to pick up some of the texture with another art crayon. And for some reason, I grabbed this dark blue. It's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I think I was just trying to bring some more color into it. So I'm going to put more of this. Oh, and I think yesterday I told y'all I was going to have links to those Colorix crayons. I cannot find them on Amazon. I had found them at some point and had a link to them. But when I did some searching yesterday, I could not find them. But just think of them like a Distress Crayon or a Gelato or, some, or even one of the Marabou Art crayons. They're just like a creamy crayon. 
All right, so there's that little snippet of scrapbook paper there that's got that like coral color. So I thought, all right, I'll bring this in. I'll bring some, some more color in. I need some color. This is going to bring this up, lift it, make it. Yeah. Um, so I've got one of my hand carved stamps and I'm putting some of that abandoned coral distress oxide around. And yeah, it, it brings it up. It's, it's, but everything still feels so muddy. Like I said, y'all, I'm struggling. I'm doing what I can to, to make this card, you know, something. So I dry this. The, the Distress Oxide stay wet for a while. So I wanted to dry that a little bit and decided I needed something dark on here. So I grabbed my Stabilo Oil Pencil and I'm drawing just some really loose botanicals on here. I thought about using my left hand, but no, I just tried to keep it really loose with my right hand. So I've got those drawn. I like those. I like that pop that they bring. And I'm going to go ahead and activate them with a really small paintbrush that's kind of wet. And so I'll go in and activate all of these. And like I said, I like this. This, you know, definitely brings something forward on here. But it still doesn't have that pop of brightness. I think... Uh, now, I know that this card isn't the ugliest thing I've ever made, but it's definitely not a favorite. And I think that there are definitely people out there that probably like these muted, muddy tones that it works for them. But it's, I don't know, it's not working for me, at least not today. I think I wanted a pop of happy today, and this just isn't getting it. So once my Stabilo was activated, I didn't even bother drying it. I've got that green gold again. And this time it's less watered down and I am just coloring the inside of these botanicals. So I thought, okay, well, we'll bring this green gold back in here. Try to try to make it work. And you know, they're pretty. They're fine. Maybe they'd be great on something else. But I think it's just this background has got me. So I was like, okay, these need to be, I need some white on here. I need to bring these a little bit forward. So I grab a couple of white pens. This first one is a... It's called a metallic marker. It's from the Dollar Tree, and it's a white marker. I don't know why they call it metallic, but it's just a white marker. And, of course, it's, you know, I'm going on top of this wet Stabilo with this wet paint on this really textured surface. It doesn't work great. It's fine. I mean, it is a Dollar Tree marker. I'm not super concerned about it. So I'll go all the way around it with that, trying to bring it forward. You know how, I don't know if you work with a whole lot of, like type and stuff but if you set like a white shadow behind something on a dark surface it kind of pops it gives that glow and that's what I'm trying to do is give a little bit of glow to this so the marker didn't work great so I turned to my Uniball Signope gel pen gel pen sorry those words didn't come out quite right and I'm going to go around it with a little bit finer white on there and this works a little bit better but as I look at, I think you're going to get my second thumbs up here in, in a second, maybe. Um, when I get done with this and look at it, I know I need something brighter, I think, on, on the card to really make it feel better to me. So I decide to, yeah, there's that second thumbs up, to bring in my gesso. I could have used white acrylic paint, but the gesso is sitting there on my desk. And I'm going to find, it takes me a minute to find the, a paintbrush I want. And go in the stamp that I stamped. It's basically like a donut shape. So I decide to fill in the donut portion of, of my stamps with that white gesso. And then I'll use my Stabilo All to go into the donut hole portion and make some scribbles and activate that. Just... Trying to add a little bit of contrast or something to the background. Get something to pop back there. Because just, I mean, just the botanicals are nice. But I needed, I needed some more texture that wasn't just, I don't know, muddy brown. <laughs> with some weird blue in it. And uh, like I said, I would love to know how you would have fixed this. What you would have done. Um, if you if you absolutely love this. I'd love to know that too. What it is about it that, that draws your eye. Because... I felt like I was on the struggle bus this whole time with it. But I want to share this with you. There are ways I could have painted over this. I could have started over. I know that. I've done it many times. I encourage people to do it all the time. But for today, I really wanted to make that green gold work. I wanted to to just get on with it, you know, and see if I could make something from nothing. So 
the sentiment I'm going to choose here in a minute kind of, uh, uh, what, what's the word I'm thinking of? The sentiment I use is sp specific to this card. So, yeah. All right. So I decide we're going to try again with that, that crayon there. And I'm going to do some splatters like I did yesterday with the crayon. And then I'll dry this. The splatters are, they're okay. You get a little bit darker color on there. I've got some blue, y'all. I love my blue. So I'm going to dry this and then come in with my small talk stickers. I knew I wanted a white one because I knew that pop of white is what I needed. And I chose the phrase, keep moving forward. Because as much as I am blah about this card, I know that it's not going to keep me from showing up again tomorrow and moving forward and trying something new. And, you know, if I get confronted with this kind of blah card, you know, I can try something different. Keep moving forward. Keep learning. So I scribbled with a mechanical pencil real quick and I decide to frame this up just a little bit with my stays on ink pad and that's going to be it. All right, y'all. I would love to know what you think of this. Please let me know. Don't be too harsh, please. And But if you do like it, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see how I you know, take on other cards, make sure to subscribe and see what I've got going on. All right, y'all. Thanks, y'all, for sh coming in and being here today. I really appreciate it. Bye.